Hi, good morning, good morning. Welcome and welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Today we start a new week together, stepping out with faith to work here towards restoring physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. This is Escape Forever Free. For those coming for the first time, a very special welcome to our channel. If you are a returning visitor or a subscribed member, an extra special welcome back to another week together here at Escape Forever Free. Now this of course is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide. Now in this presentation we aim to work together to step out with faith to work to build that healthy habits of spending at least one hour with God every single day. So you choose your best sacrificial time for the week ahead or the day and then you turn up at that time as faithfully as you can. You watch this one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide and at the end of it you continue for one hour you and God alone. We encourage you if you don't have such a routine of spending time setting aside time to spend with God for at least one hour every day. We we invite that you prayerfully consider joining us, subscribing, staying with us, sharing this with other persons that need this type of support and take the support that we offer for you. We also invite you to peruse the rest of our channel as you go throughout the week with us. We also offer other support for restoring the other faculties that we're working towards restoring. So we do have juicing videos, exercise routine videos, mental expression and educational talks, etc. Thank you again for joining us and now we're going to pray and go into our routine for this morning and I hope that you stay with us for the rest of the week. Let us pray. Holy Righteous Father, thank you so much for your gift of life lent to us once more so that again we are a living soul. We present this soul into your hands one more time. We ask for you to forgive us of our sins. We ask of you to reconsecrate us to your service. We beg for the outpouring of your earth to rain upon us and wherein we are not in a position to receive it. We further ask of you to please give us your Holy Spirit to do the work within us that will prepare our vessels to receive the outpouring of your earth early rain. We beg also, Father, wherever and whenever the time of the latter rain has come for us on an individual or collective level, that we all will be prepared and ready to receive it. All that are in the hearing of this prayer may none of us be found unready to receive the latter rain outpouring. And now we ask, please go before us and give us wisdom and understanding from what we study today. And may your name be glorified when we receive our convictions through the words that are spoken. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to go straight now into our memory text. Every week we do try to commit a text to a memory. And this week's memory text come to us from John 4 and verse 42. And it says, And said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is, is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Again, John 4 verse 42, and said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy sin, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. We pray God help us to truly commit this text to memory to be able to recall it in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls even our very own souls we go now to chapter 35 a brand new chapter this morning is where we will begin chapter 35 of the great controversy we do use the 1888 edition so please grab one also please grab the king james version of the bible and these two books are our devotional guide for our one hour alone time kickstart devotional so we're going to begin character and aims of the papacy in chapter 35 so please turn your your um, books of the great controversy to page 563.1 563 paragraph 1 and it reads, Romanism is now regarded by Protestants with far greater favor than in former years. In those countries where Catholicism is not in, in the ascendancy and the papists are taking a conciliatory course, are taking a conciliatory course 
in order to gain influence, their reformed churches from the papal hierarchy. The opinion, all right, sorry, let me go. Let's do that again. Um, in those countries where Catholicism is not in the, in the um, ascendancy, and the papists are taking a conciliatory course in order to gain influence, there is an increasing indifference concerning the doctrines that separate the Reformed churches from the papal hierarchy. The opinion is gaining ground that, after all, we do not differ so widely upon vital points as has been supposed, and that a little concession on our part will bring us into a better understanding with Rome. No, the time was when Protestants placed a high value upon the liberty of conscience, which has been so dearly purchased. They taught their children to abhor popery and that to seek harmony with Rome would be this loyalty to God. But no, widely different are the sentiments no expressed. We, the, the, the defenders of popery declare that the church has been maligned and the Protestant world are inclined to accept the statement. Many urge that it is unjust to judge the church of today by the abominations and absurdities that mark their reign during the centuries of the barbarism of times and sorry absurdity that marked her reign during the centuries of ignorance and darkness they excuse her horrible cruelty as the result of the barbarisms of the times and plead that the influence of modern civilization has changed her sentiments. We must stop here for today. As we go forward into this brand new chapter, we are very excited to anticipate the truths that we will learn. And I pray that you do stick with us to also receive um, exposure to these truths so you can make a decision for yourself concerning the traditions of your religion and wherever they might need adjustment. Let us go to our meditational hymn. And for this chapter, it's number 348 from our SDA hymnal, The Church Has One Foundation. The church has one foundation, it's Jesus Christ our Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. Let us pray. Righteous Father, thank you so much that you've given Jesus Christ, O Lord, as the foundation of our faith. He only has been given authority and rulership over our earth and also the affairs of our religion. We pray, Father, that we'll submit ourselves entirely to the to the will and the teachings of your holy scriptures that points us to Jesus Christ, who points us to you, God Almighty. May we understand clearly, Father, that you alone are sovereign and that there is none other that you've set in place to rule in your stead except Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Guide us now as we continue to learn about these truths concerning your will and the Antichrist. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known and always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. My friends, please do continue now for one hour, you and God alone, God's willing. We will meet tomorrow for more alone time, kickstart devotional guides. Stick to the blueprint to holy scriptures. It is our roadmap into eternal life. God bless you.